triple three and start your message with the word tease. Let's talk first of all to Simon Stevens, Director of Casework for Addictions UK, based in the North East. Simon, good morning to you. Good morning, Mike. Why is there a north-south divide on this then? I think the most tempting answer to give that it's our cultural relationship with alcohol. Um, it's our learned behaviours about the way that we drink. It's part of the northern identity that, um, that, that men are seen particularly to have uh, a high intake of alcohol to be men. You can put a large part of it down to that, though I'm not sure that solely explains it. And Middlesbrough then comes top of that list. Um, I, I'm sure there's many other cities in the northeast routing that they could do better too. Um, it's a very sad statistic, really, um, in the sense of the harm that it does. And um, perhaps what we really need is more education about, you know, the problem with drinking as opposed to the pleasures of drinking. Are we miserable then? Are, are we are we trying to drown our sorrows, particularly the weekend? Is that what's going on? No, I think it's just a, you know, again, it's that cultural relationship. You come to these heavy, these ex heavy industrial areas where it was seen to be the norm that uh, you would work hard and you kind of play hard. Thing is, the, the, the drinks are getting bigger, the glasses are getting bigger, and the booze is getting stronger, isn't it? I mean, if you go into a supermarket now, if you pick up a bottle of wine, or particularly one of those uh, New World wines, chances are it's going to be 14, 14 and a half percent, isn't it? I'll have to tell you a word on that. Um, it's true. Yes, I mean, alcohol has got, as a part of uh, our weekly income, far cheaper. The reality is that uh, in the past, alcohol would have been rationed by its price. Um, but now it's no longer rationed in such a way. We have hiring, higher incomes. Uh, and despite the Chancellor continually putting the price of alcohol up, as, as, as a relative part of our expenditure, it has dropped in terms of price per unit. So you think the price should go up? I'm not necessarily certain that putting the price up is going to make a difference. I, I try and avoid getting too much into that. What we really need to do is look at our cultural relationship with alcohol. And what does that mean? I think it means that our, our identities are so tied up with uh, that part of what we do is drinking. Um, and in the past, that, that perhaps wasn't as damaging because we didn't drink as much. But just the idea now that it is perfectly acceptable to go out and drink far larger amounts than perhaps the average person did, um, you know, only a few years ago. But it's not the teens and 20s, Simon, it's that's the thing. It's not the teens and 20s, it's, no. I think this learning happened a longer time ago, but it was restrained then by the relatively low incomes. Incomes have gone up now, so that same group of people can have that same behaviour, but indulge more in alcohol than they would have done. And the thing is, people don't understand these units, do they? So, for example, a man should be drinking no more than three to four units a day. Mm -hmm. um, two large glasses of wine... Um, could come to five units, as I understand it. That would be quite right. And then you have to look at the reasons. Why do we drink? Do we drink to get drunk, which is what many people do. They, they perceive getting drunk as being part of the drinking experience, as opposed to perhaps saying that I'm drinking this wine because I enjoy it or I'm having two cans of beer because I like the taste. It's not about the taste, it's about the effect, and uh, that, that's kind of, that, that's the cultural relationship that I'm talking about. On the continent, you might have some wine with your dinner because it improves the flavour of the dinner. Here, you forget the dinner and just drink the wine. Simon, thank you very much. Simon Stevens, Director of Casework for Addictions UK, uh, based in the North East. If, if you go...